Hello everyone, today we will finish the album Change of Generation by Andaki Morpheus. It's the very last song. This album has been absolutely amazing so far, this band um, as well. Today we have the song Nigai, Nigai no Hakubune, or Ark of Wishes. Um, I will do, I know it's another Freedom Creators cover, but I felt like the song... Well, it was different, different, it wasn't like vastly different. Um, so this time I will listen to the 2018 version and then try out this live. I know it's not a video, but um, yeah, I thought let's check out some live to finish off this album. So here we go. <laughs> What was that instrument in the background? Um, I only know the German word for it, like xylophone, like um, where you have these wooden plates and you hammer on them. Is it that or is it like some synth? Let me know. Amazingly beautiful again, um, but this one probably because it's this Freedom Creators cover again. Fuki's voice doesn't sound, and the music in general, it's a more a bit more of a mellow song, obviously. But um, it's just not as powerful sounding in general as the yeah, not the cover songs like their original songs. Um, but yeah, amazing. <laughs>
very beautiful ending to this album. Um, I loved the strings in this very much. Um, her voice, as I said, not as powerful, but I'm sure that's on purpose. For that, it sounds um, really sweet, um, which probably is more reminiscent of the original. Um, and I also absolutely loved this ending with like the triple, or was it even four voices, like triple harmonies at the end. Um, let me know if it sounded like two female and one male voice uh, but yeah great album great ending um let's listen to the live one and see if it's gonna be any different <laughs> So <clears throat> this version um, I actually enjoy more. There is like obviously it's a live performance, so it doesn't have all the background production layering in there. But um, like Fuki's voice immediately I feel has more passion in it, and overall the whole setting um, it's just acoustic so far. I'm not sure if that's gonna change, but it sounds, uh, yeah, very, it actually sounds um, different than the other one, more than I expected. I didn't expect it to sound so acoustic. Maybe it's just because all these orchestral layering is missing, but yeah, great stuff.
<lacht> Ominous Back äh, Sounds at the end. Great song. Um, I feel like this kind of a more mellow song. Um, yeah, actually it works, at least for me, it works even better if it doesn't have this huge um, epic production, which is great as well. But I think like for a song like this, that um, yeah has a lot more, yeah, like it's not about the energy so much as the feeling and yeah, I just enjoyed this live version more. Um, also, you could, that's why I looked down here, I wanted to check the name of the violinist. Violinist? Is that how you say it? Jill? I felt you could hear her a lot better in the live version, just because she was like the only string instruments and there weren't like five others playing as well. Um, yeah, it just has a more raw, but at the same time more like real feeling to it. Um, yeah, let me know which version you like better. Um, yeah, what else can I say, man? This album, just freaking amazing. I already bought uh, the Vampire EP, so that will come soon. Great band. Um, thanks. I'm not even sure who recommended it to me, but thank you very much for that. Very amazing band one of the best i discovered out of japan so far um and probably in general but i just know this one album so far anyway see you in the next one <laughs>